Did you know that there's an Easter egg on the Mugen train? When Tanjiro and the boys first walked onto the train, one of the passengers there had an exact face, an outfit like the human Nezuko. Also, in one of the scenes in the Mugen train, Rengoku kept saying umai while eating. Do you know the reason behind this? In old Japan, warriors are taught to save their food because it might be their last. This Easter egg seems a little dark, but interesting. And like these, I've got 31 such Easter eggs in Demon Slayer, which I'm sure you didn't notice, so let us continue with that without wasting any time. In the opening credits of Season 2, if you look closely, you'll notice that Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu were roaming around the same house that they infiltrated later. Also, looking closely at the opening, you will see the cameos of the characters, like the dude in Asuke Punches, and the guy whose hands were cut off. And not just that, you can also notice little muscle mice in the opening. What? Didn't see them? Look closely, they're behind Inosuke on the rooftop. Speaking of opening credit, at the start of the intro, you will see that the picture of Tanjiro was the same one that was used in the Mugen Train intro, and there is also a fan theory about this. They say that the person who faces left is the one who always survives while the right one dies. Let's see how it goes in Season 3. Enough of the intro, let's talk about the outro. The new Demon Slayer outro begins with Kyo Juro, Rengoku's trademark flame-shaped sword guard. Tanjiro Kamado immediately appears and grabs the sword guard out of the air, symbolizing Rengoku's lasting legacy. Do you remember the scene when Daki and Tanjiro fight on the rooftop? Tanjiro cuts Daki's leg and Daki regenerates it with her demon power. But if you look closely, you'll find out that not only the leg, but the piece of leg's cloth was also regenerated. Is this some kind of animation mistake, or the cloth is a part of a body? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Speaking of cloth, did you know that China has strict rules for anime, in which they censor things that they find to be not suitable for kids, like the way Daki dresses and also the clothes of Uzui's wives? In the fight between Uzui and Guitaro, some of the scenes of Uzui were way too similar to Ren Guko of the Mugen Train. It's like the animators were paying their respect to Ren Goku. And not just some scenes. If you look closely, you will find out that both Uzui and Ren Goku bust their left eye. It's way too similar to be a coincidence, right? Do you know the reason why Guitaro was angry at Uzui? No, it's not because she injured her sister. It's because Uzui had good looks and three wives. Sounds funny, right? If we are talking about Goitaro, let's talk about how he looks. His waist looks so skinny and most of the bones were out of the body and the reason behind this is connected to his childhood when his family was so poor that they couldn't afford food and he had to force feed himself insects and mice. Do you know that Tanjiro and Rengoku are a lot more similar than you think? Both like to repay their debts. Like at the start of the anime, Tanjiro insisted on paying the farmer for his favor and Rengoku did the same. When some merchants gave him food and Rengoku pays them by buying their entire stock. They both can't stand favor from others. If you look closely, you'll find most of the Demon Slayer easter eggs in the opening, like how the faces of the Hashira were blacked out at first, but later as the anime progresses, you will notice their faces uncovered. Isn't this cool? But you know what's cooler? Inosuke liking Tanjiro. Don't believe me? I'll prove this. In Season 1, Inosuke starts fighting with Tanjiro and even calls him by the wrong name. But later in Season 2, you can see he started liking Tanjiro when she puts his hand on Tanjiro's shoulder in Episode 2, which looks cute. How about another Inosuke Easter egg? In one of the episodes, Inosuke describes the demons he fought earlier to Tanjiro. Paying attention, you will find out that he is perfectly describing two of the demons, Inmu and Rui. Have you noticed that unlike most of the Demon Slayers, Uzui's swords didn't have a sheath? And the reason is obvious, his swords are so big, they're like the size of Tanjiro, so it's impossible to put a sheath on them. Have you guys heard of the Rengoku meme? Where people call him a donut. Do you know where it comes from? Let me tell you. It's from Rengoku's fight with Akaza. In the fight, Akaza puts his fist into Rengoku's chest and made a hole in him, which made him look like a donut. Come on guys, it's just disrespectful, but also a little funny. Did you know during that fight there are some scenes in anime that were not originally in the manga? Like the ninth form of Rengoku, it looked so cool in the anime, but it was not in the manga. I'm sure you guys didn't notice this easter egg. Shinobu and Kanao's older sister, Kane, were killed by a demon. After that, both the younger sisters wore a piece of Kane's cloth, which you can see in the anime. Shinobu wore her butterfly Haori, and Kanao wore her butterfly hairpin. The creator of the Demon Slayer had hidden too many easter eggs in the Demon Slayer, like Enmu's eyes. They have a resemblance to Naruto's eyes. When he is in Sage mode, which seems shocking as both anime are so different, but no doubt both are great anime. How about we look at the scene where Uzui kidnaps little girls in Season 2. You'll see that they started calling him hentai, and hentai is kind of inappropriate as a word in the USA, but in Japanese, its meaning is completely different. 
I found a disturbing easter egg in the Korean dub of Demon Slayer, which you may not believe. Do you know the person who voiced Akaza in Korean dub has also dubbed Spongebob in Korean? Comparing them just seems funny and disturbing. But what's more disturbing is the similarity between Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu to Uzui's wives. We all know this, but that's not the disturbing part. Tanjiro and his boys are also similar to the Pokemon. Don't believe me? I'll show you. See how Zenitsu looks like Pikachu? Tanjiro looks like Squirtle? Inosuke looks like Monkey? Crazy, right? I don't know what the author was thinking. Do you know, not only people but birds also have a backstory in Demon Slayer. I'm talking about the sparrow that Zenitsu has. Everyone has a crow, but Zenitsu has a sparrow. It's because the sparrow wants to have revenge on Muzan and his family was killed by demons, so he wanted to help the Demon Slayer any way he could. Come on, at least leave the bird alone. In the fight between Zenitsu versus the belts in the underground, you can see when Zenitsu chops off the belt. He also cuts the people inside the belt. Maybe it's an animation mistake, or who knows? Remember the scene where Uzui helps everyone but cuts the belts? During that scene, Uzui takes a breath in, but it's not mentioned in the anime which breath style and form he uses, which should be more important as he is a Hashira. During the scene when Gyutaro insults Tanjiro, you will see that he uses the same words which were used by kids in his past to insult him. If you look closely at the scene where Gutaro first fights with Uzui, you will find out a little detail how Daki was hiding in the corner seeing her big brother fight a Hashira stronger than her. It's a small detail in the anime that some of you didn't notice. Have you noticed the writing on the back of Rengoku's shirt? It's so deadly that it puts fear in the hearts of demons, which makes a kind of sense as this symbol means to destroy. But you know the actual meaning of that symbol in Japanese is Kimetsu, which sounds familiar. And yes, you guys are right, it's in the title, Kimetsu no Yaiba. And this is it! There are some of the pretty awesome, cool, and interesting easter eggs that I found in the Demon Slayer. I hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends, and subscribe!